What's up, guys? This is Rick Slight signing in. Sorry, I just read something inappropriate. Ignore that. That is that was not me. Just letting you know. Um, welcome back to season two of Dueling Network with my round three. This is the last round of the booster packs for this series. After this, I'll be using cards, multiple decks that I have got in real life that I did not do in the last season. Although I are, I am going to be doing the Gusto cards again because it's been updated. Any de decks that have been updated by a massive amount, I will be using them. So that might be not not all of them, but most of them. So that might be like three more, maybe. I don't know. I need to go check my other account and see what's what. So I will be doing that in another time. That's the only first one. So the first one should be the Gusto being updated. So here we are yet again, another booster pack. This time. As we know, in the la in the first one we did, like two weeks ago, we realised that um, that there was just a random card, just focused around random stuff. And this one is also the same. Well, this is more fusion based. Well, not more fusion based. I'd say it is, because there's three fusion cards. Lots of cards bring out the fusions. More tunes in this one as well. I like tune cards. They're good. All right, I have a nice card. Oh my god, I have the worst deck ever. Or oh, hand, even. It's alright though. We've got some decent stuff. Giant Germ, put that face down in defense. Let's lose 500 life points to him. I'm not going to use this effect. What does this do? Your opponent declares a monster level. Excavate cards from the top until you excavate a monster that can be normal summoned. Same level as the one declared by your opponent. Send all excavated cards to the graveyard. If not, special summon. I'm going to say level three. I declare level three. It could be a dick and get level one. Potential tribute. That's good. That's a level. Oh shit! That's level seven. Level eight. Oh dear. Wow. Wow. Fair enough then, so the other stay in graveyard. Alright, so he's got a level 5, he's got a level monster. If this card is normal, and if you do increase this card's level by the level of the center monster, and if you do that, this card name is becomes that monster, and replace this effect with that monster's original effect. That is a good card. Infernoid Decatron is a nice card. I will admit that is a nice card, but it doesn't have the same attack as the same monster, and it has the same effect, but not the same attack. That is actually pretty cool. It would be cool if I just like destroyed all of his Infernoid cards, but I think he's using the Infernoid deck. I have some of these in the fire deck now, which I will be doing, I think, in two weeks' time. This is week three. Week five will be the Infernoid world and the fire deck, because it's really constructed now. There's no other card in there that's fire. That's not fire. So that's all right. So he chose that one. Okay. No, he's choosing that one. Is it? <laughs> okay. So he's normal summon that one. Okay. Is that tuna card? No, that's a tuna card. Oh shit! So that's a eight level ten. No, well, everything changes, but I know it's five hundred, two hundred monster. This is quite annoying. I know you've got to banish monsters to some of the cards, but still. You can special summon a lot of monsters, so. I may lose this one again, because I'm not getting the best of luck with these fights. Well, I guess the first one I was being really lucky with. The second one, I just had a really bad comp opponent, I'd say. Well, they knew what they were doing with the cards, and my cards weren't up to that standard. It seems like no matter you like the new cards are the way to go when f dueling. Otherwise, it just won't go anywhere. Because all he seems to be doing now, especially some monsters, just that first thing actually helped him out, not fucked him over. I was going to go for a level one originally, but 
Oh well. Wow. I have got a lot of fucking work to do. Okay, what's this do again? When your opponent activates a spell card, that activates. <laughs> My turn. Nothing I can literally do is do this. That is the only thing I can do. No one is winning at the moment, though. And that is in defense. But he'll be winning, so let's not do that. What do you do? That's all I can do. I have a bad hand. Really bad hand. The only card that can help me win now is Relinquished. Except during the main phase two. Okay. So it won't be affected by my card effect unless it happened in the main phase two. Special summon from your graveyard as many fire monsters as possible with 200 defense, but to banish them during the main phase. Hmm. I have not a long time to do this, so if it doesn't take that long, I will end this video and leave it as a as a, as a fail because I need to hurry up. I need to get going in 25 minutes from this video, so hopefully it doesn't take too long. I have to just save it and not edit it because I won't be able to edit it. Why have you got Lila in your deck? The fuck you doing with your set? Lila's not not Lila's not one. No, I know my lights once. I have one. Most Synchro Summon cannot be special summoned by other ways. This card Synchro Summon cannot be negated when Synchro Summon cards and effects cannot be activated. If this card attacks, it is unaffected by other card effects until the end of the damage step. Flip. And to go to the grave. I will special summon from my deck. I need to do my effect. So, yep. I remember putting three of these in there. So let's just hope this goes well. I hate it when this game does this. There we go. I need to special summon the giant gem. What's a tandle? What's a tandle? For me, I'm going to go all totals. You lose another one. Eat a bleth. I have to show him a deck so I've got no more. I think one of you wanted to show. I need to show it to him. For proof. God's sake. Yes. And he has to know that I've got no more giant germs. That's what I've got to do, and it's really annoying that I've got to do it. I might have to quit halfway through this duel, so... I'll just redo the duel later. Tomorrow. Okay. So now knows that is legit. I've lost. How can he attack twice? Oh right, yeah. There we go. So I might be able to get away with it then. I'm not going to win this because I'm coming across all the duelists that this card, this deck can lose against. Mainly, it's kind of crap that that's happening. That's just look at look what happens in Yu-Gi-Oh. It's more luck-based than not strategy sometimes. Right. Oh, I don't have no equip cards though. Here I am again. <laughs> Here we are. So let's just. This. I'm wrong. It's okay. Um. I can have that. This guy do I could go for that again. I'll go for that again. That's all I'm gonna do anyway. Oh I'll clip up I believe.
Or if you just heard like a little rumble near the next microphone. So <laughs> send one monster from your hand to the graveyard, special summon one level one monster from your hand or deck. Send one monster from hand, okay, special summon one level one monster, which is probably going to be Infernoid that other card. I'm gonna deal 500 to him. Well, 1,500 at least. Yep. You'll know when all three have gone because you don't have to actually look at the decks. You're not allowed to have more than three. So that's alright. I guess. I need Tomb Will so I can fuck his shit up. I can attack him directly with that card if I have Tomb Will. And that is what I want. Okay. Harmadick. Harmadick, what a name. Is he synchroing? So that's what I don't like about Inferno monsters, they're about kind of crappy. It's like, oh yeah, you need to like, do all this shit, but I guess if you've got enough of them you'll be able to do it. Okay, so he's got that out straight. It cannot be a target to buy an opponent that's a card effect. Okay. To the grave, E double F. Effect. End of view. Need to view it again. Oh, come on, I've got. I haven't got time for this. My ability for work. That's going to be a bummer. Let's go get one then. There it is, and we will special summon in defense. There we go. Giant gems are cool. I like them. Next turn. This guy's the discarder from your hand to the graveyard by an effect of a card. Controlled by opponent. Draw two cards from here. Okay, that's going to be pointless now. But we've got giant gem on the field, so that's alright. I need more fucking cards that can do shit right about now. I'll set you down in defense and end. It seems like all I'm going to be doing now is like, literally I am winning by 500 like I was last time, but then after one turn I did lose. Now if there was a third duel and I had a mix of last hands and this hands, he would have been dead by now because Mahal of Velo is a really good card. I have three of them in this deck. Because like, oh yeah, I've just equipped it and it gains a lot of boost just from one card. It's really good. Card Trooper! Excavate three. He's only excavating one. Nope, two, three. Okay, so he's going up to one thousand nine hundred. That's fine. Okay, that just goes to the grave because nothing can happen. E double F. And where is the other one? It's somewhere in here, I can't see it though. There it is. And there we go. I like it, it's good. Okay, so he's gonna be pulling out. Is he doing anything? Cause the I don't know. The only way I'll be able to beat this is if I actually like defend myself to the fucking brink. And he ends up taking himself out by drawing two little cards. As in like he can only draw... If he draws more than that, he loses. So, for the people who don't know, probably a lot of you are watching this, or the very few of you watching this, did not know that. Let's just see where it goes from here. If I get Tomb World, it's all over. <laughs> Probably not, because he's got that 3,100 monster I need to try and take care of. And I have no... I do have Spellbinding Circles this day, and Snake Fang to reduce its defense or attack. Edgar Boon reduces their attack. Or does that just destroy cards? I have no fucking idea. I have another Guardian of the Throne Room. Oh yeah, because a 1650 attack. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'll, I'll, I'll get some damage in. That's fine. That was 1,250, sir. Okay, and it goes to the grave. Okay, I can't do anything else this turn. So I end my turn. Why did he draw a card? Oh, with this card, the controller is destroyed and sent to the grave. You draw. I don't know that was your right. Need to look at my cards a little bit more. Gone. I've done a lot of damage to you this turn. I can do this. Need to do a little bit of effects, though. Yeah, why? You don't have light swans, do you? Wait, maybe. What was the point in that? It didn't go by any attacks whatsoever. What you do? Okay. I know that much. E double F, there we go. You lose another 500. The weird thing is, I'm winning by a thousand life points. Okay, good. Because I have to. Yes. By the rules of you, you've got to show them the deck if you have no more monsters to special summon. Like that. Why can't I just done that in one turn then? Especially summon all the giant germs in one go. Well, it's more better though, isn't it? Then. Man, I should have thought of that. It's good when you've got more things to summon, like, but... <laughs> He's looking through them all to see if there's any giant germs. All I have to do is look for a big fucking purple circle. Dumbass. Okay. So he's ended his turn. I can't do anything with these. No point in doing that. I'll, I'll go for his effect. <laughs> then he's got a opponent draws three cards, both players. Look at the three cards. He draws them, where can you put them down? Okay, reasoning. I pick a level. If that monster is the same level as the one declared by your opponents, and all excavated, I'm gonna go for a level four this time. Should have gone for level one. Didn't learn from last time. Just gonna take a sip, a quick bev. That was level four. Really can be special summoned. <coughs> ah. Because it was level four, so I had to stop. That's why you go for level ten. <laughs> no, would have pulled it out, wouldn't it then? I need we I think this turns the end of the turn where I'm going to lose. It would have been better if I said discard the spell cards. Let's just hope what happens, shall we? I need like a little tapping, I'm tapping the mic, sorry. Come on, I want you to deal with me. I want you to defeat me right now. No point prolonging the inevitable. I'm going to lose either way. It's quite warm outside. Say so it's still winter. Well, nearly spring. It's been good playing Duel and Network again after so long. I've missed it. These decks are terrible, but... So the rules what I said put myself out to now when I use my own decks I should have more skill or more strategy on how to beat people. 
The more I lose, though, the more newbies I fight. But obviously these newbies are like, oh, what can I do to beat people, kind of thing. So it's like, oh, yeah. If newbies like saying, oh, I like Yu-Gi-Oh, yeah, they'll go for Cosmos or something like that. So I'll probably most likely lose, unless people don't know how to play the game. Light Swans are powerful. Gustos are powerful. Cosmos are very powerful. Let's get rid of this stupid symbol. There's a lot of powerful cards out there, but there's a lot of random cards out there as well. Like random, I mean, powerful decks, but there's random decks as well. Like this one. Like the one, the aims I've wanted to do with these cards, apart from the first deck, which actually worked to my advantage a little bit. They're not done because I wanted to fusion some a lot of monsters, and it didn't let me fusion some a lot of monsters. This one, I want to use tomb monsters or the few or the ritual monster, but it's not letting me do that either. I am fucked because that is a really good card. Okay, so let's see what it's got to do. I want to flip, then grave it. So I'll flip, then grave it. Excavate the free cards and then return to the deck. Excavate three cards. The spells. You draw, go to grave. If not, if none, then return, whoa, to deck. There we go. Come on, dude, I'm not faffing about. You need to draw three cards. Come on, man, what the fuck's going on? What's he doing? I don't have time for this shit. He's going to win by default because I've got to quit. Let's push him along a bit. Hello. There we go. There's one. Two. Three. Okay. Return all the last three to your hand. Return all... Yeah, we already knows that. Okay. Bang, bang, bang. Inferno and Antra, yep. Why are you adding it to your hand? They return to your deck. No, you're right. No, no, no. Yes, it. That's fine. And then I lose 3,100. Okay, so next turn I should be dead. Unless that fucking had to happen right there, didn't it? I have nothing to go with. I have nothing to go with. I really don't have anything to go with right now. That's it. I'm over. It's over there now. Taking a brown town. All I needed was just something that could boost my monster by a well, thousand and would have won. Think about it. 2,250. No, sorry. 2,550. Boosted up by another 700. That'd be 3,000 monster right there. That goes to the grave. Nothing happens. You're lucky. You prolong the inevitable. Give me something I can win with, game, please. You're a dick. I can't do anything but put this down in defense. God damn. I might as well just quit because I can't do anything, but I like to play it out to the end. Unless I really... I only do, like, on Legacy of the Duelist because I like to get them the 
benefit of the doubt. I was like, oh, they quit high, you're a loser. But yeah. no, I'll, I'll admit my defeat. That doesn't do anything. I love that fucking card, though. And then he attacks me with his other card. I admit defeat. <laughs>